there's a big debate about whether you say whooping crane or whooping crane. Hey, I'm Lana. And I'm Casey, and we are Class C Broads. For the next month or so, we are going to be in Rockport, Texas. And we've only been here about five or so days, and I can already tell you that Rockport rocks. I love it here. The weather is perfect. I love our campground. It's easy, laid back, and this to me is what RV life is all about. Yeehaw! Texas is about 30 minutes northeast of Corpus Christi, Texas, and it's just this cute little coastal town. Yeah, I think the population is probably 10,000, maybe a little bit more, and a lot of the folks that are here are what they call winter Texans, which is essentially what we are. So a lot of people that just come down here for the winter. So the management here at Quilly's did something that we've never experienced at any RV park before. They gave us this nice little gift bag filled with all sorts of stuff to do in the area, touristy stuff, but still. And they gave us this sweet Quilly's bottle opener. Some fish food to feed the fish in the ponds. And these sweet, Quilly's sunglasses. Woo woo! Yeah, so I'm totally digging the free stuff and just the hospitality here at Quilly's. Yeah. So if you know anything about us, you know that once we get settled in a new place, we like to scope out the local brewery. And guess what? There is only one local brewery here, and it's also a winery. So that's kind of like two, two for one. That they also have bingo, so maybe it is a two for one. On Thursdays, the brewery has bingo, and it draws a crowd, let me tell you. Our second time at bingo, we still didn't win anything. So close, so oh, man. Close. One number away. Oh, I know. So exciting though. Yes. So we're gonna be back next week. Watch out for more video footage of us playing bingo. It's better than walking. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. The rest of the time we're in Rockport, I'm gonna sit by the pond, drink beer, and fish. Quilly's there really isn't a bad RV spot. You either back up to the main pond or you back up to one of the other ponds or maybe a trail. We got lucky and we backed up to what we call our pond where we went fishing with no one around.
caught not one, not two, but three little guys. How big were they? <laughs> they were bigger than this lens of the camera. Yeah, Casey picked up fishing as a hobby. And the other thing that people do around here, they bird, okay? They go and they look for birds. And believe it or not, while we were in Rockport, I kind of think I found a new hobby, which was birding. We made our first attempt at the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge. Okay, folks, we're becoming birders. We're gonna be those people. Mm -hmm. But you know what we may see today? Gators. Look, do not feed the gators. There he is. Okay. Right there, swimming. Right there. out by seeing some gators but we lucked out even more by having a birding expert there to guide our way. He really helped us out and kind of got Lana hooked. Then you have all these birds that are coming down from the north to winter down here as I was discussing. So our tour guide is basically taking us in a car auto caravan to various spots to see the different birds and we're pulling up to our first spot now. Bob, who was our guide and birder extraordinaire, lent us a pair of his binoculars. But it was amazing to observe what Bob could see, even with the naked eye, in terms of spotting and identifying the various bird species. So I really like this hobby for Lana because she needs to be doing something all the time. And this birding thing keeps her really busy. There's something about the beauty of the birds and their diversity not just in terms of how they look, but how they sound. And birding is extremely challenging, not just being able to spot and identify the birds, but also trying to get you know, a video or photo of the bird. It's incredibly difficult and challenging. And I really enjoy categorizing things. If you know anything about me, I love to label stuff. It's one of my favorite things to do. So. You know, the challenge of seeing a bird and trying to figure out what it is just really appeals to like my sense and need to organize things and categorize things all the time. We saw three alligators, uh, three or so frogs, some deer, and a bunch of different birds that I'm never going to remember the names of, but our very nice tour guide, Bob, he got our email from us and he's supposed to send us a list of everything that we saw. 
So if I'm really ambitious, I'm gonna match that up with the video footage and see if I can, you know, figure out the names of everything and let you guys know if I'm really ambitious. If I'm not, it's just gonna be a montage of birds set to music. <laughs> After our guided tour, we had some lunch and then decided to take the Heron Flats Trail at Aransas National Wildlife Refuge. Not as many birds there, but some gators. And we got to see the roseate spoonbill, which is a beautiful bird. It's pink, and I had mistaken it earlier for a pink flamingo. <laughs> which they don't look anything alike. <laughs> right, but they're pink, but so they're that's pink. what I thought they were. The community center here in mid-February. We have an appreciation day for all of the RVers who come down here in the winter. They have a gathering. Yeah, and it's something like 5,000 or so people come to the Rockport area to winter here. And it's a really vital uh, part of their economy, community, and they just are going to try to show appreciation uh, for the people that come down here. So we're probably gonna go check that out. Yeah. It's gonna be, I think, some free food and bingo. You know we like the bingo. We're at the Rockport Fulton Winter Texas Appreciation Day. It's crazy. Man, people apparently were here in line before it opened at 10 o'clock. The line was just snaking out the door. It's very crowded, but people are so nice. And it's just a bunch of free food. There's bingo. Um, we've gotten a bunch of free stuff. I have mixed feelings about that because we just went through purging all of our possessions when we sold our house and so the idea of having just more junk lying around is, you know, whatever. But it's still fun to get that sort of stuff. So anyway, here's to a uh, Rockport Fulton and making us feel like we're very welcome and at home. Yeah. Did we mention that we like bingo? Because they were having that as well at the Winter Texan Appreciation event. Action bingo. time waster. Yeah. I think that's what bingo really is. It's a time waster. I love it here. It was fun. It was super fun. Let's show the people all of the loot that we came home with after the Texas winter appreciation. So we've got new koozies, new cup, a salty supply of miscellaneous chips, Food bag. Love those. Some fidget spinner. Uh -huh. Bobber toy. And all sorts of candy that we definitely need. Chapstick. Always need chapstick. And this was your grand prize win. I won I I won this bingo. Skilled bingo player here. So it was fun. It was totally fun. 
thank you Rockport Fulton for making us feel at home because this is how we eat. <laughs> the temperatures here in Rockport have really varied quite a bit. When we first got here, the highs were in the 80s, lows in the 60s. There's kind of a cold spell right now. This morning I got up and it was in the 40s. But considering that it's like seven degrees back in Kansas where my folks are, I'll take this weather any day. And the prices? at Quilly's RV Park are phenomenal. It's $380 a month plus electric while we've been here. And the electric hasn't been bad at all. Right now, I think for a month, it's been around- $70 yeah. or so. Miss Earl, that's okay. Miss Earl. Oh, I think you got a cocaine nose, little girl. What is going on, Sophie? Ah. Now you got two boys. Quilly's is known for its fishing ponds, but it's also just a great space for you know, looking at nature. They have a lot of nature trails. And while we were here, yes, we did fish. We also use the trails a lot, you know, to walk the dogs and to walk ourselves. I actually ran on the trails. We looked for birds here in Atlanta. There was this turtle that I could never get a picture or a video of. I call him the elusive turtle. Okay, this is how geeky we are. There was this caravan of ants that were hauling in one specific direction all of these leaves and other debris from one side of the trail to the other side and every day we would go out and we would look for the trail to see if they were still going and if they were still going in the same direction it was just nature is just amazing everybody has their job to do and these ants were doing their job and we just totally geeked out watching these insects do their work. It was, I don't know, silly but fun. There are basic amenities at Quilly's as well. They have a laundry building with a handful of washer dryers. I think it's $1.50 a load. Uh, they also have some storage units that are available to rent uh, to some of the longer term residents here. We've also heard rumors that Quillies is gonna be building a community center and a swimming pool. I'm sure the rates will go up if there's something like that there, but you know, it's already super cheap to be here and we just hope they don't change their culture. Yeah, we've really, really liked it here. The managers, Keith and Danelle, are top notch. They are very friendly and accommodating. Um, everyone here has been super nice and it's been a welcoming place for us and our pups. Ugh. We're headed to Goose Island today and we're packing our lunches. Casey has some really stinky Brussels sprouts that she's gonna pack. Delicious. So there aren't many places to buy like real food or lunches. So we've sort of learned our lesson. Don't wanna get hangry. Yeah, especially this one. Cause I get hang hangry. We are at Goose Island State Park, which is about 20 minutes or so from the campground we're staying at in Rockport, Texas. And the big thing to do at this state park is to see a very big tree. An old live oak. It's over a thousand years old. And it may not look like much from a distance, but the circumference of its trunk is like 35 feet 
It's only about 45 feet tall and that's primarily because the ocean breeze, I guess, keeps it from getting much bigger than that. But it is pretty magnificent when you look at it. It's very majestic. Majestic? Yes. Okay. Right across from the big tree in a pasture, we saw some sandhill cranes and these flocks of red-winged blackbirds. Yeah, those red-winged blackbirds were just crazy the way they would swarm. They tried to poke my eye out. But the highlight was this family of whooping cranes. According to Cornell Labs, in the 1940s, there were only around 20 or so whooping cranes in existence. Today, there are only about 600 left. And we actually got to see six of them right there by the big tree. Yeah, it was amazing to be able to see these creatures, given that they're so rare. I mean, talk about a bucket list moment. I think these whooping cranes were one for me, now that I'm officially a birder. So there's a big debate about whether you say whooping crane or whooping crane. Regardless, they're pretty birds. Goose Island State Park is a funny shaped sort of park. There's the main park that you have to pay money to, but then there's basically a road that goes up to the big tree and that road and just the road, not really the land beside the road other than the big tree is part of the park. The main part of the park includes some camping spots right along the beach. There are also some camping sites in another more wooded area. There's a long fishing pier where you can walk and get some exercise or, you know, of course, fish. <laughs> We did see a handful of shorebirds along the beach and some of the wetland areas in Goose Island State Park. There is a small kind of wooded trail at Goose Island State Park called Turk's Cap and we went on that, it's about 1.1 miles, but really we didn't have much birding luck at all on that trail. We just took this Turk's Cap Trail. And you know how many birds we saw on this thing? One. And we didn't even get a picture or video of it because it just flitted away. So sad. Sad bird face. So, our time at Goose Island started out really good. Um, we went to the big tree first, and then we saw the whooping cranes. Whooping. Whooping. There's a big debate about how you say it, whether it's whooping or whooping. I don't know if there's a big debate. Well, we m met a bunch of like mature, experienced birders mature. who kept saying, <laughs> Whooping, I've always said whooping, so you tell us which is right. But we saw them, and there are only like 800 in the world, um, and we saw six of them. So hey, that's pretty good. I'm not even sure there's that many. But then we came into Goose Island State Park proper, and it was where, kind of a letdown. Yeah, where we actually had to pay the, what was it, $5 per person admission fee. And it's a very small park, so, you know, I guess my advice would be if you're going to go to Goose Island, unless you're going to stay here and camp, that really the key things to see, which are Big Tree and the whooping cranes, you can do in the park but without paying the admission fee. So that's a wrap on this video. If you liked it, peck on over to the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. And if you like all this birding nonsense, then stick around for our next video. Because we'll have more birding. It's action packed of birding. Ka -ka! And remember, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers! Ka -ka! A lot of people are going to go into diabetic shock today because they are handing out a lot of candy. At any RV bar park.
Bark. Bark. The fish was that big? This big. Here's your water. And they even included a little quillies, bottle opener, and some dogs. <laughs> confused this morning and maybe we just had beer on the brain. Well, we're at Goose Island State Park and you'd think they'd have Goose Island beer here and that's not the case. Yeah, and we just saw the Big Tree and I was hoping that they would have some Big Tree IPA from Baroque Brewing in Columbia, Missouri, but they don't have that either. So we're just going to have to settle for some beautiful nature. <laughs> 